This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how to tell if your bicep tendon is torn. So the bicep tendon attaches to a few different places. There's two places in the shoulder, and there's one down by the elbow. So let's start with the shoulder first. So again, it attaches to two places. One is the coracoid, which you can feel on your old sh own shoulder. It's this painful little bump kind of in the front of your shoulder. It almost never tears from that. The second place in the shoulder where it can tear from is actually in the shoulder joint itself. The biceps tendon comes around and attaches to the top part of, uh, of the glenoid. Your shoulder is like, like more like a golf ball on a golf tee, and it kind of attaches to the top part of that golf tee where your superior labrum is. So that's a common place it can tear. Mostly happens in older individuals, and what happens there is it just tears off, the tendon tears from that uh, part of the shoulder and kind of drops down, and what you get is a big kind of ball where your biceps tendon is. And you also usually get a lot of bruising. So if you tear your tendon from your shoulder, um, you usually will have some pain. You might notice your bicep tendon is a little bit more bulky, which some people strangely like, and uh, you'll have um, a lot of bruising and a little bit of pain. And that's how you know your bicep tendon is torn from the shoulder. At least you have a good idea. A better way to tell, I mean, you can get an MRI. I think that's overkill. Uh, an ultrasound that somebody can do is pretty good for showing whether that biceps tendon is there or not. So what does it mean if you tear your biceps tendon in your shoulder? Well, actually, if it doesn't bother you, you really don't need to do anything about it. I believe Brett Favre had his biceps tendon cut on purpose before uh, playing in a Super Bowl. So you, and it's a common procedure for us to just cut that biceps tendon if it's bothering somebody and just, just let it fly. Um, you can also reattach it too, which, which a fair amount of people do. But if you tear it up there, you'll have some pain. Uh, you know, a little bit of a cosmetic deformity, which you may or may not like, and you may get some muscle cramping. But if those things don't bother you too much, you can essentially leave it alone. And like I said, the other place in the shoulder, the coracoid, it really never really tears from. The second place your biceps tendon can tear from is down by the elbow. So if you can hook your own elbow, like if you can stick your finger into your own elbow, you'll actually feel your biceps tendon. And uh, that's, we call it the distal biceps tendon, where it attaches at the elbow. And it feels kind of uh, like a little kind of warm pencil-like structure. And you'll know you tore it because A, it'll hurt and you won't be able to feel it. We call it the hook test. So you can feel your other elbow, the good elbow, and you can find it. And if you can't find it on the other side, that's pretty sensitive and specific for tearing that biceps tendon. Um, an MRI would be confirmatory. Now, if you tear that tendon, you actually lose a lot of your function of the biceps. And most of the bicep work at the, at the elbow is not so much bending it in, it's actually turning your palm up. So you actually lose a fair amount of your supination strength. So that's something that's really surgical. And when you do that, if you notice that you did that, you really, that needs to be fixed pretty soon after you do it. So that's something that you really need to see an orthopedic surgeon and they need to go do surgery. Um, again, with any of these musculoskeletal issues, if you can live with the disability, then you don't necessarily need it, although it would probably be recommended. Um, by almost any orthopedic surgeon. Um, so that's how you know if your bicep tendon is torn at your elbow. So yep, the, so the summary is if it's torn in the shoulder, you get a lot of bruising, you may have a little bit of a cosmetic uh, extra muscle down here and get some cramping. If it's torn at the elbow, it hurts, you have some bruising and you actually can't feel the tendon with your own finger. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your question about uh, when, how do you know if you tore your bicep tendon. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond, although I can't give specific medical advice about your condition. Uh, if you like this video, we put out new content every week, so please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.